We got carpets, we got wood, and we got linoleum. Let's go. There's the finished product there in one of the rooms. And then the other bedroom. I got a staircase and a upstairs loft type master bedroom with a master closet. Then in here, we've already cleaned this up. This is linoleum. And then we had to clean that after we did the carpets. We cleaned the linoleum so we can move the chairs from the, the dining room table and a few items. She just wanted all the open areas, but I wanted to get as much uh, surface space as we could cover. And this procedure that we're doing today is basically just a clean and buff or a clean and shine. So there's no acrylic polishes or anything being applied, no polyurethane. Uh, both floors had no buildup. She's been using a neutral pH cleaner, which is fantastic. Makes, makes these things easier. I am at a lunch break, excuse me if you hear me kind of uh, making noises. I took a lunch break here, or we took a lunch break, and then we got one more job to do after this, but, <clears throat> excuse me. So the clean and shine, basically what we do is we use a neutral pH cleaner and squeaky clean, which is from basic coatings. You can get it on Amazon. It's called squeaky clean. And I put that in the two gallon pump up sprayer and spray. I used it for the linoleum as well. I just missed it on there. We take a red pad and we, well, first we, we dry mop it. So I have a Bona, one of those dry Bona pickup pads that go um, on the bottom of my 18 inch flat mop. Get all the dust and all the crap, any loose stuff up under the toe kicks in the kitchen, all around the wood. Then I spray it with the uh, squeaky clean and we run the red pad over it to scrub it, break down all the soil and dirt. The red pad is almost like one of those green scotch bright pads, but it's red. It's made for deep cleaning uh, surfaces like this. It gets down in the grooves. And then we extract all the loose soil with the Iron Man pad. And then I will flat mop to get more moisture out. Once we get all the moisture up, then we can do what's called a dry polish. And this is the trick. If you're doing wood or whatever uh, hard surface floors you're doing, if you want them to shine without putting an acrylic or a laminator plus or any polishes on there, if you just go through with your white cotton pad and buff it out that way, it's gonna look dull and hazy. But if you get it dry after you're done extracting, like I'm doing, look at this beautiful day, look at all this garbage. <laughs> anyway, back to the procedure. When you're done um, dry mopping it, you let it dry, you take the white 3M um, pad, similar to a Scotch-Brite pad, I guess, if you're new to carpet cleaning. It's the three white M pad. And on a dry floor, you can see the pad right there. It's about an inch thick. And boy, my nose is whistling. The weather's changing up here. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, the white 3M polishing pad will go through and actually heat up whatever existing protection or polyurethane is left on these finishes. There's always something, there's a polyurethane on these, and that white pad, you just go over it evenly, and it is what is considered the buff, clean and buff, or I call it buff shine, but sometimes people are afraid of the word shine because they're so used to cleaners saying don't use any anything that makes it shine, any polish, any wax, Murphy soap, none of that garbage, it builds up over time. Unless you use it and then you use a remover and you remove it six months to a year later, you can go to town with Mop and Glow or Quick Shine or whatever you want to do. So I'm not knocking them. It's not. It's a really good product. It's a protector uh, for the polyurethane underneath. So, but people don't understand it and they don't give good enough directions. So you have to put it on and then use a remover to remove it. But anyway, I digress. Got my vacuum out, check out these stairs. 
we've got all the carpet done, the linoleum in the kitchen. Look at that. Threw my flashlight on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we appreciate you all tuning in for another episode of Carpet Cleaning Guys Vlogs. And I will be putting together a few more videos. We got some interesting stuff. We got a nice moldy deck that we're going to be power washing December 2nd. So that ought to be interesting. In the meantime, I will see you all later.